What is up everyone? It's Demotionary for Life. I'm here gonna do a new car video and a new trailer video, guys. I am very, very stoked on this, guys. I just picked up this car the other day. Not Nothing special, nothing you guys haven't really seen around here before, but I am more stoked on the trailer, guys. I finally decided to buy something that I'm gonna truly, truly, really, really like for a very long time. And it's gonna be a lot better for my truck. I picked this thing up probably about a month ago now, this trailer. The car I just got the other day, but I figure we'll do a two video kind of deal. But you guys ready to see it? Ta-da! I picked up a gooseneck trailer, guys. That I'll get into in a little bit. I picked just the trailer up roughly a month ago, like I said. And I instantly fell in love with it. It is a homemade trailer. It's nothing special. Uh, this thing pulls amazing. And I'm very, very happy that I got it. Just because my truck was kind of... Not very loving the uh, bumper pull. Uh, my, I still have that trailer. It's just not here right now. Uh, that this trailer is honestly, I'd say a eight out of ten trailer. It's not the greatest. It's got some flaws, and I've been working on it, on fixing those flaws, and working on it to make this thing a ten out of ten. Uh the only thing that's really bad about this trailer, it's not super, super heavy duty. Like pulling a, a heavy, heavy skid loader would be a little bit of chore for this. I, I don't think it would help it out very well, but this is perfect for cars. I think this is very, very perfect for cars. I picked this thing up, this trailer up for 3,300, if I remember, remember right. 33 or 30... 32 maybe because he wanted 35 i know that i think i got it for like 32 which honestly i think is a pretty good deal considering how much prices how much trailers are going for right now and this is actually not that bad um i did go through it i fixed a lot of welds i added more welds um to put to some spots um this bottom beam all the pretty much all the welds were cracked because you can kind of tell it's kind of kicked out slightly but what i did is i cleaned it up i kind of got it back straight the best i could and just went over there with the welder i burned the sucker together and that's about it i added a few welds up in here I really like this grating. I actually think it's kind of nice to have because I can put parts and stuff up there if I go to derbies and I don't have to put it all in the back of my truck. Um, I added some welds up in here. Just kind of make sure everything was welded really good. Went over everything, burned it all in, and then added a coat of paint. And uh, Yeah. The car is a, is a Buick, if I remember right. Uh, it's actually a short based wheel wheeled car. It's not super super long uh, It's uh, more on the shorter side compared to the others that I got So this thing might pass for a midsize class But I haven't decided what's exactly gonna happen to it. It has a v6 in it covered a, w covered in covered in poo Those are the ramps for the trailer Ugh. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, that's right. This hood wasn't even latched. I'm going to sit you guys down for a second. Alrighty. Yeah, so this thing is covered in doo-doo. Uh, this thing was probably, I think it was sitting in the woods, and the guy that I got it from has a lot of rabbits in his yard and squirrels and everything else. And I really think they they like uh, making this thing their uh, their um, play spot. I think this vehicle should be able to fit a V V8 motor in it just fine. 
you shouldn't really even have to worry about fitting stuff because it's it's basically a full-size car it's just a little shorter in the back end i think the fronts are about the same but the uh the back's just just like maybe a foot shorter or something like that it's not a bad looking car um and it's got steel back bumpers that that i found out so that's a plus so i can stuff them and make them actually decent bumpers oh sounds like someone's someone's causing issues over there got uh brand brand new tire you can't tell but these are brand brand new tires on the trailer and um they that's kind of a plus to have uh my chain binders are junk i gotta buy new ones uh these ones were kind of just stuff i got from an auction uh yep another steel back bumper tires new everything's new um they are, had different ramps on here at one time but they uh <coughs> oh excuse me but they ended up uh uh getting rid of them or something they were probably too light for this trailer so they got the other ones made up or bought them i don't know if for sure but also i know is i am very happy with the with getting this trailer uh, it's so much easier on my truck and it doesn't it doesn't pull that bad at all i'm like i'm actually really surprised on how well this thing pulled I, it's not even it doesn't sway bad it doesn't really do anything except pull good but i get, bet you guys are more interested in the car than the trailer i think i i just kind of figured i'd do a two-part of video uh I figured you guys would enjoy that, but I am very stoked. I do plan on adding some extra supports on this trailer underneath just to help it out more. And I'm going to make sure I go through the wheel bearings and do everything else just to make sure everything is a okay. I, and I don't have to worry about anything like that in the future or in the near future. I'm, I'll make sure to go over it annually. To keep everything rocking but yeah everything hooks up really well and um i did notice that it does kind of stick on my on like the on the ball in the back of the truck it does stick a little bit but it's not a big deal it's something i can i can handle but yeah now that we've got through the trailer, what have I done to it um, other than adding a coat of paint and fixing some welds is I added this bad boy onto it. I I figured I'd, I have to have a winch for my trailer. It is a must just because like a dead car. How am I going to get on the trailer other than having someone push it up with a skid loader? And if they don't have a skill, how am I going to get on the trailer? I built up a bracket system to get this sucker on here. I had a bunch of square tubing. And what I did is I made sure to cut cut it in sections. Um, these are two pieces. So what I did is I welded those two pieces together. And then I added these pieces of angle iron right in dead center and this should be dead center of the trailer so and it's also dead center of that of the center of the tubings or two tubes welded together so it's just that extra strength just to hold it just from pulling and whatnot but this winch actually works really really well i got this thing from harbor no not harbor freight it was uh, Northern Tool. That's where I got this. A uh, little expensive. Um, more than I really, really wanted to pay. I didn't really need a 12,000 pound winch. But I figured, hey, go big or go home. And I'm really happy that I went big. Just because you never know what I'm going to be pulling up onto this trailer. And this trailer is actually 
like oh what was it, it was like 20 26 feet or something like that but i added this box onto it i know it's kind of a dumb spot to put it but i didn't want to put it up there because it looked dumb and i couldn't really put it back here because of the truck so i figured the best next best spot is to put it right here it's convenient to grab chains just have to open it up and then i can grab chains out of it and then strap the car down and i also run the battery in this box it keeps it out of the weather everything is dry and not gonna get all wet and this is made to sit outside so it is actually very nice to have and i this is the first time i've ever used it and i will say so far it has been a delight it has been a very very good experience so far i'm gonna keep on using it and we'll see i'll keep kind of getting more info if this thing is actually something i want to stick with for long term or sell down in the sell in the future but for now i am in love with this trailer and i can't say that i ever want to get a new one and i'm going to make sure that this thing lasts a very very long time so yeah but thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy this little video. I didn't go too in depth on the car. There's not really much to say about it other than it's a shell and the motor's junk. So that's all going to come out. And a new motor and tranny are going to go into it. And we're going to have some fun with it. But thank you guys again for watching all my videos. I'm stoked to say that I got this trailer. And I can't wait to actually keep on using this in the near future. But thank you guys again. I hope you like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys all in the next videos.